guys, my name is Ben, and welcome back to episode 50, yeah, go episode 50 of, of Bucket's Trails. Now, uh, you're probably expecting a big one, 50, no, we keep it organised, 50 is not important, 50 is just another number, it's like birthdays, when you get older, you know, you just refuse to believe it's a birthday, it's just another day, but anyway, so, uh, today we're going to be looking at enumerations, yay, so, uh, I'll explain what enumeration is in a minute, so if you make a new class, call it enum. No, let's, let's not, let's call it, yeah, let's call it enum, enum plugin or something, and for the package we'll just put like, so, because I'm not releasing this publicly, so I'm just going to put enum, um, dot, uh, tb, t, uh, damn it, enum p dot, I'll just call it enum p, okay. Um, and then this extends Java plugin like this. Okay, now I'm just going to make an on command like that. Change that to command label just because I don't like how it is otherwise. And return false. So if the command label um, e label equals ignore case uh, test, then we want to get the the first argument they put in. So we're just going to assume they put in another argument because we know for test sakes, if you're going to want to release this publicly, obviously you want to put in checks. But you know, I'm just teaching you things, so we're just going to do other things. You should know how to do checks by now. So anyway, so if um, the args zero dot equals ignore case uh, something, uh, we're going to make an enumeration which holds foods, different types of foods. So. Um, I'm just going to leave that for now. Uh, then we're going to want to send stuff. So if we set up and we're going to click on enum p, click the little arrow next to class, we want to click in enum. Uh, we're going to call this uh, enum e because this is the actual enum. So obviously it makes this package, in the package, it's made this class enum, enum e. Um, so you can obviously make this manually because um, it's still a .java class. So in here, this is where we're going to hold all of our, our foods. So what foods are we going to have? We're going to have apple. So that's going to be one of our foods. Then we're going to put comma, and we're going to put banana. Uh, we can put pear. We can put we can put chocolate. Um, we can put what else can we put? We can put chicken, and we can put fruit pastels. There we go. Now at the moment, you know they're they're a bit boring. These these uh, these these foods. We want to we want to give each food a name, so in here we just want to hit Control Space and then hit E, uh, <laughs> Enter sorry, and my Skype's not on. Do not disturb. There we go. Okay, so in here we're gonna put what we want them to have. So we want them to have a name. So let's put string name. And we just want them to have an int or a boolean called uh, healthy. Are these foods healthy or not? Okay. So now you see all of these have got errors. That's because we need to put the constructor in them. So we're going to make apple. Apple is called apple. And is it healthy? It is healthy. So if we just copy this, we can paste it here and change apple to banana. And a banana is healthy. Pears are, pears are healthy. Healthy. So there we go. Chocolate is chocolatey. And is it healthy? No. Chocolate's not healthy. Uh, chicken is chicken. Chicken is um, it's not really that healthy, is it? Chicken, so no. Chicken's not healthy. And fruit pastels. Fruit pastels are obviously healthy, so fruit pastels. There we go. So now we're gonna make a string in this enumeration called um, uh, food name, which isn't actually equal to anything. And we're gonna make a boolean uh, called healthy. So here we're going to set food name equal to name and this dot healthy uh, equal to healthy like that. So um, what we can do is we're going to make a method uh, called to string like that. It's already a method, but we're just going to you know change a little bit. So we're going to return food name. So when we try and convert one of these to a string, we're just going to convert it to the food name because it's going to you know. Else it's going to return banana and all caps. We don't want that. We're just going to return fruit pasta with the underscore. You know, we, we don't want that. We want the space. Um, and we're also going to convert 
Oh no, we're going to make a method called uh, public boolean is healthy. Like that. Um, and it's going to return return healthy. Now, uh, what are enumerations useful for you, may ask? Well, when you're doing uh, classes or no, kits, kits and you know teams and stuff, you want like a team of people. Um, then you know you'll you'll you know if they'll you'll compare them to this this thing. We'll have lots of values in here which tell them where they're going to go to, and it will point them to different directions and stuff. So here we're going to say uh, if the arg zero uh, equals ignore case. We're going to want to loop through all of these in here. So, what we want to do is we want to say public static uh, string array gets foods. Um, and we're going to make. Oh, no. Uh, we want to make public static enum e array, so an array of, th of this class get foods and we're going to return uh, a new enum a ne enum e oh no we're going to say uh, enum e array e e equals uh, app or and then in you know curly brackets we're going to say apple comma banana comma pear that was a dog if you heard it uh, choc chocolate um, chicken and fruit pastels like that and then we're going to return this EE -E, like that so in here uh, what we want to do is we want to say uh, for um, enum E E colon enum E dot uh, get foods like that we go. So it's going to loop through all of them, and if the arg zero dot equals ignore case e dot uh, food name like that. So we're looping through them all. I'm going to say apple, and apple's food name is apple lowercase um, and stuff. Actually, we want to remove this. So there you go. There's no space. There we go. It equals the food name. Then we want to do tell them if it's healthy, healthy or not. So we're going to say um, door brackets. Uh, player outside these brackets sender dot um which I haven't imported dot send message and we're going to say e dot food name uh is and then we want to see if it's healthy or not so we're going to put a question mark and we're going to say e dot healthy and if e dot healthy is question is sorry we're going to say E dot healthy um, question mark and then we're gonna say plus back here so I'll explain this in a minute I've done this in another tutorial plus either healthy question mark if it is we're gonna say healthy otherwise it is unhealthy uh, un Uh, we have errors. Well, let's move that. Plus question mark e dot healthy. No, okay, we're gonna have to make a separate string. So string s equals um, e dot healthy question mark uh, healthy colon unhealthy unhealthy like that. String. Like that uh, is and then s. So what this is doing is we're saying um, we're going to loop through all of the foods and we're going to check if their first argument is one of those foods which we you know we've put in here. We've got these foods and we're going to say uh, we're going to make a string which is going to say if it is healthy. So eat or healthy is it healthy? And if it is, we're going to set s equal to healthy. If it's not, we're going to set it to unhealthy. Then we're going to say uh, to the player that food is healthy or unhealthy and then we want to break out of this loop because you know we found the right one go to a plugin at YML change the command test change this to what is it enump like 
after that, and I'll see you in the game. Oh, okay. So I just uh, changed the plugin to YML a little bit because uh, it broke. I had to change it to enum p.enum plugin. So if we do, this world's a bit fancy. Oh, look, calculator. Okay. Um. <laughs> um. So if we do slash test uh, apple, it's gonna say apple is healthy because apple is healthy. If we do test uh, chicken. It's gonna say chicken is unhealthy. So chicken is unhealthy. If we do test fruit, pass fruit pastels. It's gonna say fruit pastels is healthy. It should be are healthy, but you can you know change that if you want. And then fruit the test. Um, what else do we have like pear? Pear is healthy. Stuff like that. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.